Hello. Nice to see you too. Thank you very much. Hey, what do you think? Hi, Dr. How are you? Nice to see you. Let me do a quick rundown. Okay. Right here. We got the resource center. The youth come here, get pamphlets, like buses, you know what I'm saying? So it's a resource center for kids that need, like, want like, information, basically. What are the hours? How long is it open? Over there until like 9 or 8, it's like 7 I think. How is it? 8 or 6? So about till about 10, 10 o'clock on Monday through Friday. And then how you doing, Governor? Oh, thanks. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, we're open until about 10 o'clock Monday through Thursday. Friday we shut down around 7. And then Saturday, sporadic open season. So usually we're open 7 days a week. That's great. Wow. So parents, you can come here also to use computers for internet use. What are you listening to? Anything good? <laughs> That's Cody. He's one of our guys that stays here. He's here all the time. He lives down the street. Take this right, right here, sir. Right? Yes. In here? Yes. This is the uh, neighborhood fitness center. All right. Yeah, same, 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 same house over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're now we're trying to move this. All the way to the bathroom to the side right here. Where is everybody? Huh? Where is everybody? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came here like something like last month. I got a job here, so like after work or before okay. work, I come here and work out. And enjoy the resources that I have. Okay. And everything, every part of the building is open. Yes, that is open. Yep. This is where most of the kids are. Basketball play here. We have a we have a league here every on uh, Monday to Friday, Friday, Monday to Friday. We come here and they all play basketball. This way. <laughs> so uh, this way is the outreach program. Mr. Reed, you know they um the <laughs> look at you. Look at you. And actually this was all paint this was actually this part was redone uh -huh. by the kids in the, the Safe and Successful program. Okay. So they repainted it. We had Youth Build actually put up the wall mm -hmm. for us because they're actually on the third floor mm -hmm. for us. Okay. Um so we share space with them uh during so the So is this the GED room on so the other side of this? That's the G D yeah, we do G E D that's a pilot program with yeah. the Safe and Successful money. Yeah. yeah. Um so they come here in the morning and then in the afternoon we actually go to Oak Grove Cemetery and they actually do some landscaping over there. Okay. With this. You got some buffalo wings if you want some, uh, <laughs> some blue cheese if you want some, but I wouldn't mind some. I'll work that. So I want to say how uh, how proud I am to be here and to thank my tour guide. Where'd he go? There's Brett and, uh, uh, and, and Katie Wreck and all of those who come out. Uh, to give us a kind of a check-in uh, together with the mayor on the Safe and Secure Youth Initiative. This is a, um, 
really great way to think in fresh ways about how we bring safety and security uh, and, uh, and a positive attitude to young people in our centers. It's going to be an organic program, meaning uh, the best ideas come from the ground up instead of from the top down. Um, to engage families, engage uh, young, men, young, young people, but particularly young men who are, uh, who are at risk, and I'm looking forward to the check-in and so appreciative uh, of the good work that's happening, uh, that's happening here in Oakley Court. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Today. I just want to, Patrick, my administration made a commitment uh, to Massachusetts, and they made a commitment to the SSY initiative, and especially here in Fall River, you're seeing males between the ages of 14 and 24, which are an at-risk at, at population having a safe place to come. They're learning educational skills, they're learning work skills, and they're learning life skills. And by being here and not on the streets, we're reducing violence within the city of Fall River, and we're giving an at-risk population the life skills they need to have successful lives. And it's important to see this building uh, occupied. Uh, it's important to see the vibrancy uh, in the building here. I really want to commend Jameson and Grace and Christian and the entire staff at CD Rec uh, for being dedicated to public service and being uh, guardians uh, to the youth here uh, who occupy these halls without their leadership, without their guidance. Who knows what type of path any of you could have gone down to keep people on the right path and programs like this keep people on the right path. So, Governor, thank you for making the commitment.